Alright guys, we're going to be solving another question from the third chapter of the Miriam textbook, Engineering Mechanics. And we know when the 0.05 kilogram body is in the position shown, the torsional spring at O is pretensioned so as to exert a 0.75 newton meter clockwise moment on the body. So we need to determine the force P to break contact at point C in two conditions. One, we need to include the effect of the weight. And in the B part, we can neglect the weight. So as always, we're going to start with the free body diagram. We are in equilibrium. We can use our equilibrium equations, which are sum of all forces in X equals zero, sum of all forces in Y equals zero. And we're going to have one moment equation about any point that we want. So let's start with the free body diagram. Let's just call our X and Y in here too. So we have a pin at point O, which means we have both X and Y component OX, OY. So normally we're going to have it normal force at point C, but since the question is asking us to find a force P in order to have that normal force at point C zero, so we won't consider any force in there. We have the clockwise torsional moment on the body from the spring. That's going to be clockwise and 0.75 newton meter. And the last thing that we have is just the weight of this body, which is going to be mass times acceleration of gravity, which we know G is 9.81 meter per square second on Earth. And we don't need to worry about the exact center of gravity or center of mass for this body. We know because of the symmetry will be aligned this line and all we care about is the distance from O to the line of action of the weight. So uh, we don't need the center of gravity for this, but we know it will be somewhere around maybe here. So let's just consider our moment equation about point O, because that way we can get rid of all the unknowns. So we're going to have the moment of the force P, and that's going to be a counterclockwise moment. So positive P and the position vector would be distance from 0 to 8 which is 60 plus 60 120 it is in millimeters so we're going to divide by thousand to get it in meter we're going to have the moment of the weight that one's also clockwise counterclockwise so plus mass is 0 0.05 times 9.81 times distance from here to O which is half of the top part or 60 millimeter again divide by thousand and we're going to have the clockwise moment from the spring so negative 0.75 equals zero and this is going to give us the force p 0.75 minus 0 0.05 times 9.81 times 0 0.06 divided by 0 0.12 let's see what we get 0.75 minus 0.5 times 9.81 times zero and we're going to divide that by 12 this is going to give us 6.00 newton and the answer for the a part and for the b part of the question it will be very similar we just don't have the weight so we don't need this part and we're going to do the moment about 0.0 again we're going to have 0.12 times p uh, minus 0.75 equals zero so our p here would be 0.75 divided by 0.12 that's going to be 6.25 Newton. And the final answer for the B part of the question. Hope everything was clear. Let me know if you guys have any questions and you guys take care. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.